Alright guys, Milky Tan back with another video, another reaction video. This is more than just a reaction video. This is what happens to you, what could happen to you, and what will happen to you if you smoke K2, Spice, Salvia. It's all the same freaking thing. It says on the package, do not consume, do not take it, do not smoke it, do not lick it, do not snort it. I felt the need to put this video out there because a lot of people are dying from smoking K2. And this is one of the videos. There's going to be three videos played on this one, so please get comfortable, please watch this video, and please get something out of it. Here we go. Wow. That's really horrible. It makes no sense to me to smoke this crap. Do you do y'all really want to be like this? Is this what y'all want? Is that supposed to be awesome and cool? I mean, come on now, really. Don't smoke this crap. It's not worth it. It's not worth your life. This is another video that I found. This guy smoked K2 and he's laying in a puddle of his own vomit. So let's watch it. It's horrible. Light of still in his hand. Sir, you okay? And he's throwing up again. Ooh. Wow. Is you okay, sir? Ooh. Call the MLM for something. That's disgusting. Is this, your, is, this is what y'all want to smoke. This is what y'all want to do. You ruin yourselves. That's that toochie. You on that toochie? It's got a lot of different names. The ones that I heard so far is toochie. Yeah, stay away from that too. That K. Spice, Ooh, two G, K two, Spice, Salvia. Like I said, it's got a lot of different names. And this is the main video that I'm playing tonight. Uh, this tells a, so a story of what happened to this kid. He took one hit off of K two, and he died. One time, one hit, one hitter, one hitter, quitter, one hitter, quitter. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's horrible. Okay, listen, there are no words. 
to explain what this California family is going through. Their teenage son, who they love so much, of course, died after taking one hit of synthetic pot. That's 19-year-old Connor you see there, Connor Eckhart. He died July 16th after smoking spice. He slipped into a coma K2. after taking his first hit. And get this, this drug is 100% legal. His parents created a Facebook page now for Connor. And these are some of the haunting photos um, of their son that we've seen here on life support in a hospital bed. They want to make sure that none of us goes through the same nightmare they're living right now. And we are so This is absolutely horrible. Connor's mom and dad with us, Veronica and Devin. Y'all want to put y'all's lives in danger? Y'all want to put your family in mourn and grief? Speaking to us because I know that it can't be easy. Your friends? Um, but I I'm wondering, first of all, how did you get word Why? that this had happened and that Connor I don't get it. We were actually on a family vacation in Puerto Rico with our 18-year-old and our 5-year-old daughter. We had gotten to bed about 2 a.m. in the morning, and we were there about four hours and got a call that Connor was in ICU. They couldn't and even... We got back on a plane via Boston. They couldn't even enjoy to their vacation the because their son wanted to smoke it. Had he ever to your knowledge, experienced with any sort of, had experienced any drug before that? Well, Connor had, uh, had had a bout with, um, with drug addiction, and he, uh, he was eight months clean and sober. He was very proud of his sobriety and had been doing just a fantastic job. Um, uh, his friends would tell you that he was the one who was rejecting anything that was going to pull him back towards an addictive lifestyle. But uh, one hit of spice has changed everything for him. Did he ever, Veronica, did he ever wake up? Were you ever able to talk to him before he fell no. into the coma? No. I, we had just spent uh, a whole week with him just a few days prior to this happening. And by the time we got to the hospital, well, actually, he never, ever woke up after the hit of spice. Devin, when you all spoke with him in the hospital, did you get the sense that he could hear you? You know, that was, it was a, a sweet time, but a really difficult time. He, uh, he did show signs of, um, that he was responding, and he kind of hoped that uh, things were going to turn out differently, but nothing significant. He was, he was asleep in a coma and never recovered from that. Uh, you mentioned that you were on vacation with uh, your two daughters. And, and sad. I your so sad. Uh, from what I read, doesn't want to finish school. Can you help us understand what this has done you know, t to your daughters and to your family? Um, the, I mean, the grief is unbearable. This is every parent's worst nightmare, is losing their child. And yep. we had come through difficult roads. Just speak it. Just tell it. It tore them apart. Before our 18-year-old, um, she is in so much grief. She's having a hard time closing her eyes at night because she is afraid that this is also going to happen to her. Um, for my little girl last night, she said that I don't want Connor to be gone. I want him to be here in real life, not in the life that I can't see. So... I mean, it's just a day-to-day -day battle, moment by moment, to to fight through what we what yep. we're going through, to to make it okay, some kind of normalcy for our little girls. So, <clears throat> as, as parents, what do you say to them, and to to your daughters, and then also maybe Devin, why don't you take the angle of what do you say to other parents? Uh, Veronica, you first. On, on how do you how do you talk to your daughters now? when they are feeling this way? Well, one of the things is we let them know that Connor was not sick because we don't want them to be afraid that every time one of us were to get sick or they were to get sick, that they would also pass away. Secondly, we let them know that Connor smoked something bad and this is what happened. And thirdly, I mean, we stand on our faith and we know that Connor is with Christ he was a believer. We are, and we know that he is in heaven. And and we let the girls know that we will be reunited one day. 
And I know that that faith um, and, and what you've been through really maybe has called you to this new purpose. Devin, what would you say to other parents who are watching this right now? Yeah, we, we, you know, we weren't parents that had our heads in the sand. We paid close attention to what was going on in the world around us, who our kids are with, who their friends are, and um, felt like we were on top of things. And yet we weren't aware of spice and um, just the lethal, horrible things that could come from even a single hit of that. And so um, I'd encourage parents, one, boy, take advantage of every moment to love on your kids and educate them and talk about things. Use our story as a way to yep. bring awareness mm -hmm. to the dangers that are out there. This is a, a substance that you can get at your local smoke shop and your local 7-Eleven store in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And while we can't um, think that we're gonna change maybe uh, drugs and battle the, the drug battle, what we can do is raise awareness mm -hmm. and the demand for a substance changes when people you know, realize what it is and, and steer clear of it. Well, Veronica and Devin, um, we so appreciate, uh, as I said, you taking time for us and sharing. I mean, it shows such vulnerability, yet such strength at the same time to let us into your life like this. So we're really grateful. Thank you. And, and mm -hmm. the best of luck to you um, and big mm -hmm. blessings to you as you as you continue on to get the message out. There's a Facebook page, mm -hmm. by the way, for Colin Eckert as well. Heather, I want to get to you as we look at this. What is it? that makes this so deadly? There are a couple different factors. One thing is that spice or synthetic marijuana, it's herbs coated with different chemicals that are made by underground chemists. So there's an unpredictability of what exactly those chemicals are gonna be. But what we know is that they come in and they overload the brain. And people will have psychotic breaks, they'll leave reality, their heart will shut down, their kidneys can shut down, they'll stop breathing, wow. they'll have seizures all the way to death. Okay, yep. so we're looking at some of these now with nausea and vomiting, high blood pressure. Is and tell me, honestly, is this what you want to do to yourself and your family? Differently, individually. If you do, you smoke K2, to kill yourself. And there's no way to predict. If who's not, don't do it. Who's going to have a high from it and who's going to I encourage it. everyone not to smoke this say, crap. But how is this legal? This is legal do not smoke drugs. Do not do this. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but no. None of them are better than the other. Just don't do drugs, period. Very frightening. Heather Hayes, we appreciate it so much. And again, to Veronica and Devin, thank you for uh, for sharing so much of, of this part of your life, which I know is so hard with us and, and helping to educate everybody else. Come on, guys. <clears throat> Don't do drugs. Do not smoke drugs. Do not take drugs. Do not shoot drugs. Do not do drugs at all. Just look at the pictures that I have up here. It looks like potpourri. It looks like potpourri. It's a spice. An incense. That's what synthetic weed is. Incense. It's fake. You got a couple red red circles right up in here. It's uh looks like weed but I mean you see what's going on you see what's happening you see what it does to your body to your mind and you see what it can do to your family's spirits you just tear them in half and rip your family apart because you wanted to go out and take one puff of something new and you just die. It's not good. I mean, check out the top picture over here. Just, that person just laying there. Yeah, I see syringes around, but it's a 
that's pretty much accurate you know that's what happens you're gonna fall over and you're just gonna lay there I watched one video where they laughed about it the guy goes so what is this trip gonna be about the guy says I don't know I'm about to find out he said I this is my second time smoking K2 and this is my first time smoking it on camera. He takes a hit. He takes one huge hit out of a bong. He holds it. He zeroes out smoke. Clear. No smoke comes out of his mouth. He kept it inside. He leaned over, rolled off the couch, and laid in the floor. He fell off the couch, laid in the floor. And then out of nowhere, he starts moaning. And then he starts screaming. It's just hallucination. It's, why? I don't get it. Why? I mean, yeah, it gets you high can make you feel good make you makes you uh, forget about what's going on but seriously if you want something to make you forget about what's going on talk to somebody don't take a drug that eventually is gonna take your It's not good. It's not good at all. I advise you, I strongly advise, stay away from this stuff, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I'm going to have a lot more content, something like this. There's a new drug out that I want to touch on that is eating the flesh away. It's a self-eating drug. And people's body parts are falling out. Falling off. Like, seriously. Y'all may have heard of it. The drug is called Crocodile. I want to touch on it. I'm rooting for 10 likes on this video. If y'all want me to bring up a video for Crocodile. Because honestly, somebody needs to speak up. Somebody needs to say something. Because people are dying and no one cares. Nobody's doing anything about it. And you can come up and say, oh, yes, we are. We're doing something about it. We're doing this. We're doing that. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're doing that. It's still in the store. People are still buying it. Nobody's doing anything about it. So let's do something about it. Get it out of the stores. Simple. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It makes me angry because I've had a close friend pass away by doing drugs. <clears throat> it does make me angry. It makes me very angry. But please, don't do drugs. Stay away from them, guys. It, it's a horrible thing. It will indefinitely ruin your life. It will seriously, completely destroy your family. And say you get it from your friends. What kind of friends give you something that's going to harm your body? Those are not real friends. Real friends would slap you across the face and tell you to stop doing it. Real friends would make you 
get help. Real friends would take everything from you until you got help. Real friends don't give drugs to harm your body. And sure, sure enough doesn't give you the money to go do it. K2, Spice, Salvia, Tucci, whatever you want to call this crap. It's going to ruin your life. It's going to kill you. That's all I got for this video. Please like this video. Thumbs up on this video, guys. If I get 10 likes, I'll talk about Crocodile. If not, I won't talk about Crocodile. But somebody's got to because there's nothing being done. So please, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you got something out of it. And keep your thumbs up. Keep a smile on your face, guys. And please remember to have a blessed day and a fun time doing it. Go out, have a great time. Stay away from drugs. Remember to go out there and tell somebody you love them because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to hear it. Go out there, be safe, and have a fun time. And please, comment. Let me know what you thought. Tell me. Tell me what's on your mind. But with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love all you monks. I'll race you to the next one, guys. See you in a minute. Time starts right now.